What's up, sons? It's Blind Dog with Sound Attack once again. This is gonna be a little bit more vlog style. Funny enough, it's almost like I should just go watch Tech Yes City. You can check his channel out up here. So I can go ahead and determine how to do this best because basically we ended up in a PC swap, part swap deal. And I have this rig over here that we're about to show you that I swapped for and we are going to clean it all up and sell it because the entire point of it was to reduce the amount of parts that I have and now I just ended up with the same amount if not more than what I previously had. So we swapped the Raven Rage water cooled build which you can check out up here for this build over here which I'm going to show you guys right after this. Okay, so for me to be able to show you, I'm gonna actually have to, you know, move you around and, and get the get the get the table out. There we go. Boom. Okay. Okay, so this is the build we picked up. It's in a Fantex case, white case, so super awesome there. I think that will look good in photos, etc. We have a 1600, so a Ryzen 1600 processor with a GTX 1063 gigabyte that you can see right here. We have eight gigabytes in single rank of 2666 megahertz, eight gigabyte stick, so we're gonna have to do something about that. And we obviously have to clean up the cable management. So as you can tell here, you guys can always route this through the top. Uh, just a quick note, you don't have to do this. So, quick note there. As far as this cable here, it's pretty trashy, but we're just gonna have to deal with it. I don't wanna replace anything as far as that goes. He did wanna keep his hard drive, so I kept mine. I came out on top with that because I have an NVMe drive that was in the other one. So I just helped him hook up his regular SATA drive. But I'm going to tear this all apart. We are going to replace the CPU cooler with an all-in-one, so it'll fill out the front of the case. We are going to clean everything up, so all the dust, there's lots of dust on this rig. And then we are going to swap out this single rank memory for some dual rank, and we're gonna call it a day. Okie dokie, so this shouldn't be that difficult. Okay, so he also didn't fasten this, so I'm gonna have to find a couple screws to fasten this GPU down, which is gonna kind of be a problem, but we'll get it fixed up. We have quite a few screws missing as well that we're gonna have to take care of. There's motherboard mount screws missing, so we're gonna have to pull everything out of this case, unfortunately. This four pin wasn't plugged in all the way because the tabs weren't on the bottom side of that 24 pin. Son of a biscuit. This is gonna take a little bit of work. Are these all the RGB ones or are these the white ones? I don't know. Only USB 3 in the front, so we don't have to worry about two. Pull the motherboard. As far as I can tell, this one's missing. This one's missing. So we need to get under there, because I think the whole point was the standoffs are missing, so I think we're gonna have to replace the standoffs. I hate it when you get them and the people stripped them out. Oh, it's the worst. Okay. There we go. Oh, one in the middle, my bad. Fortunately, that does increase the amount of time we're gonna have to spend with this, but, because I have to go track down some screws. Let's see, so that one's in, this one's missing, but we can just steal it. Okay, so now that we have that in place, let's go ahead and drop the board back in. We need the stand off there as well. Oh, I'm such a dummy, okay. Yeah, that's all the way off. Oh, <laughs> the classic. <laughs> Son of a brisket. Oh, it's on there good. We didn't bend any pins. All of this is in fine, so let's get this all plugged back up. Done there, now we need Motherboard screws, or power supply screws. Okay, so to catch you guys up on things we found, basically the power supply wasn't fastened. There were two screws missing on the motherboard and there was one that was had the standoff missing as well. All of that can cause lots of shorts, etc. So 
if you are you know building make sure you don't do that and you get that clear we're gonna pull this EPS pin out as well and move it around and we're gonna get the cable management set up here Okay, so for part of the big problem, uh, we need to get the chip off of here very carefully. I just used a big flathead screwdriver and made sure not to get anywhere but on the, the lift there and just popped it and it came right off. We'll have to seat that in there and then clean it up. We're going to trash this place the cooling I think we have all of the cables run we do need to do like a mount the SSD get the memory out so we're going to be using two sticks of DDR4 2400 megahertz I've already verified it overclocks to 2600 or 2666 to be fine for us so we're just going to plop that in there and here to make sure we're actually running in dual rank now it isn't the white stick but it still matches with black so i think that's fine i think everybody that is looking to buy it's going to be perfectly fine with that we need to grab another sata Alrighty boys, everything is cleaned up and ready to go. I am gonna go go ahead and see if it'll post for us and we'll get a couple base benchmarks. I'm not gonna go too crazy. I'll probably just be in audit mode. We'll show you guys how to get into audit mode too. Uh, just because audit mode will allow it to be in an out of box experience for the end user. 
and then we're gonna throw it up for sale. We're gonna put it on Facebook Marketplace as well as we are gonna put it on my Shopify. So if you guys, uh, anybody watching actually wants to purchase this, you can purchase it as well on my Shopify. Of course, shipping is expensive as hell, unfortunately, but that's just the nature of the beast. All that being said, let's see how it runs. I think we're gonna put it up for about $750. Okay, so we're in the out of box experience for Windows, but we don't really wanna do that. What you can do to get out of that is press Control Shift F3 and it'll put you in what's known as audit mode. So basically in audit mode, we can install applications. Uh, we can do a lot of stuff like that, but it won't actually set up the user accounts or anything. It's just gonna be the default administrator. And that's super nice because then you aren't having to worry about messing with any of the, uh, of course, accounts or anything like that. So you won't have to re-wipe it afterwards. Basically, we can kind of just play around, install some stuff, uninstall anything we don't want on there and just get some benchmarks done. So as you can see here, we have a Ryzen 5 1600. So it's not the 1600X, but we have 16 gigs of memory and all of that goodness. The next thing we're gonna wanna check is just go ahead and make sure everything's running good. You guys can get a benchmark out of it. I'm gonna log into an existing account, which will take me a tad. Okay, so we went ahead and set up the Ryzen 5 1600 to also run an XMP profile with a slight overclock on the memory to 2666. Alrighty, son, so we have completely finished this system, completely refreshing it. A few of the things we did, like I mentioned earlier, is we swapped the cooler out for an all-in-one. Not super necessary, but it cleans up the build and it fills out this front space. Another thing we did to fill out that front space was add this little extension. I had an extra six pin white extension, really cleans up the build. Yes, we left the ketchup and mustard on the eight pin EPS and the 24 pin CPU, cause I'm not gonna throw that much into it. That would be a little too much in there, back away from it. So I figured that it would still look really, really good this way. The other things we did was go ahead and get ourselves into some dual channel memory because Ryzen really, really, really uh, needs that you shouldn't be running one stick like we got this system with we had to fix various issues with cable management of course along with some of the motherboard screws not being screwed in the power supply not being screwed in and the GPU not being screwed in so once we got all of that out of the way Everything cleaned up real nice. We put an RGB fan up here from Corsair uh, in the rear to just, you know, once again, make it look good. The two front are just the basic 120 millimeter fans that actually come with the H100i V2. That's the cooler in here. And uh, we did get a longer version of the little stick strip up here so it goes across the entire top. I didn't run any others, I think that's plenty. And then you get the effect right here, connected to the front. And this nice little front light comes on right there. Yeah, I kinda like this case. Maybe I might wanna do a liquid cool build in one of these one day. But that's gonna wrap it up for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you would like to purchase this exact system, check out the links in the description below. I know the video is kinda dark right now, but uh, yeah, this light's over here. Burp, 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 burp. And unplugged so that this can be plugged in. But this was the start of the show. I'll see you next Tuesday. Boop.